and we have this courtesy of enemy lord she's back lord is back said lord praise for dropping cds and offering discless versions of a new album don't get me wrong the new lord single that's out at the moment is a bit shit don't get me wrong it does sound like a little bit of a weird um uh you know regen remix of a flipping george michael record everyone's kind of said that it obviously does um the video is pretty interesting you know it's pretty whitewashed which is what quite cool that she didn't try kind of tick the diversity boxes and make it look like a united colors of benetton ad it's just people that she kind of thought would look good in the video it kind of looks like a mid what's that movie called midsummer yeah midsummer whatever it's called the a24 um production company put together had that kind of vibe she obviously looks really good she looks fit as fit as a fiddle her midsection was tighter than tight um you can tell she's been working out during you know lockdown or abstaining from eating certain things and doing some crunches whatever that she may be or some burpees so she looks in really good shape um but yeah the music itself was a bit of a letdown and i'm a little bit of a newly converted lord fan um I saw her when 2017, I think Primavera, I think so. I did 2017. I don't know when then, and I'd never obviously seen her live. Obviously heard a couple of her records here and there, but didn't really pay too much close attention to her. And then she absolutely destroyed it at um, Primavera. Like she's really good live. And I take maybe I'm in the minority here, but I'm one of those people who kind of puts a lot of stock in the quality of performance of an artist when they're performing live as opposed to just what they do on this album i think you know some of the especially the higher echelon artists like a lord who has a big you know she's signed to a label you have a lot of money put in put in you people kind of you know think you're a big pop star which obviously she is or an indie or whatever she is right um people like that generally do get to work in some of the best studios they get some of the best people to mix down and master their records so more often than not it's always going to sound lush you're never going to hear a record from you know um flipping you know people like her Phoebe bridges and stuff that isn't going to sound good right quality wise but is the music going to be good when you actually hear them perform it live and usually a lot of these people are kind of let down to, but Lord was really good live, man. What a performance, the dancing, the dancers, the lighting, the outfit changes, really, really impressive. I was really impressed by it. And ever since then, I've kind of kept my eye on her. And, you know, she's been a bit silent ever since. I think her last album might have been 2017 or something, really late, really long, long, long time. So for her to come back now and decide to do like a special release where she's not going to be selling CDs, which I've, no, don't really have a problem with i think the idea of selling cds nowadays is so antiquated especially when i don't know if kids even have cd players now if they're the ones mostly buying music i don't know if anyone has a cd player even most you know kind of modern cars now don't have cd players they just have um units that you can plug your phone in or you can listen to like kind of um digital radio stations and whatnot so i decided that she's kind of decided to put away with cds and put it in this little box that's a little bit bespoke for her fans i think it's cool some people are obviously being cynical about it and saying oh you're just replacing one waste with another bit of waste with loads of bits of paper but there's probably far less damage done to the environment by recycling bits of paper than trying to recycle or trying to you know throw a bunch of cds that no one's going to be using in a few years point blank into some landfill but anyway it's continue with the article it says the following Lord has been praised for her environmental concerns after she confirmed that her new album, Solar Power, would not release a CD. Um, the latest record from the New Zealand single will arrive on August 20th following the release of the opinion of single. Um, while the record will receive a limited vinyl release, the singer has confirmed that a CD release will be dropped in favour of a high quality download, which I definitely agree with, especially now that Apple introduced that new spatial listening thingy whatever they introduced obviously tidal has really high quality um audio files i think they might have WAVs or something even maybe higher than that so a lot of these platforms are understanding that there is a sort of weird I wouldn't say audio file community but whether the community that exists that likes like hd cdq quote unquote quality music and they're willing to pay for it too so if they can kind of capitalize on that and obviously do away with the cds that's going to kill two birds with one stone so i definitely feel that it's as here as an eco-conscious music box will be available to purchase an alternative to a cd this innovative offering will contain extra visuals to content handwritten notes exclusive photos and a download card the card will be given uh, to purchases a high quality 
download to the music two exclusive bonus tracks that access to some special surprise along the way so it contains everything that you would want from an album that's part of the beauty of owning albums back in the day even records right is the idea of kind of reading the sleeve seeing all the credits taking out the inserts reading you know checking out the little zine or book or booklet they put in with some of the pictures or maybe that took place during the recording of the album things that you haven't seen on the internet that was always kind of great to see and then kind of picking out stuff in there and you know what what equipment they're using who was in the room all that stuff is really cool and maybe there's going to be more owners put on it because it's going to come in a box right instead of a cd pack thing and it's going to be more options to kind of share that online too so it's a clever idea i, I really like it it says it continues um when talking about the concept lord said i decided early on the process of making this album that i wanted to create an environmentally kind forward thinking alternative to the cd um, I wanted this music box product to be similar in size, shape and price of CD, to live alongside it in a retail environment, but be something which stands apart that's committed to involving nature of a modern album. So it's going to look like a CD, but it's just not going to have a CD in it, fair? Um, she has now been praised by the music declare, um, declares emergency, which focuses on environmental impact. It says, yes, Lord, at Lord. Lord's releasing her new album. It tweets here in a new plastic-free format. The music box that provides high-quality download bonus tracks and exclusive material 100% biodegradable card they wrote praising the move one fan said i've been buying them for 30 odd years but this is definitely the way forward okay cool so good to know man um so big up lord um hopefully we see this very soon i can't wait for the album i think again the single's been a bit a bit of a letdown but i think lord is definitely more of an album artist anyway so i'm eager to listen to that album from front to back when it does drop solar power coming to your head top very soon <laughs> 